Shalom and welcome to our testimony segment. And today we ask ourselves, how faithful is our God amid the fast changing times and seasons? Well, this testimony will help us answer this question. Praise God. Amen. Um, let me tell you, there is God in this place. Amen. And Jesus is working. Amen. And he's even working in your lives. Amen. So even when, we, when pastor talks about Jesus, and we sing about Jesus, and you read about Jesus, just believe that he's the same Jesus that used to do miracles. Tasha received a word of knowledge from Pastor Sube Yuri during one of the Sunday services. God also led the servant of God to pray for her and her family. Father, in Jesus' name, as I raise this family to you, I raise Rhoda the mother to you. No weapon formed against her shall prosper. I declare and decree that good health is her portion. I disconnect her from altars fighting her life and destiny. I speak safety in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Right now I break every power of the devil against Rhoda. I release freedom for Lord Rhoda now. I release freedom for Rhoda right now. I release freedom for even the sister, the sister, the sister, the sister, Tasha's sister, what's her name? Tasha's sister. This sister of yours, what's her name? Anna. Lord Rhoda and Anna. Kodaso kata bada 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 bada. I secure this family in the blood of Jesus Christ and declare that God, Rhoda Anna, Rhoda and Anna, Rhoda and Anna are surrounded, Rhoda and Anna are safe, Rhoda and Anna are well, Rhoda and Anna are blessed, Rhoda and Anna are protected totally. They shall live, they shall be blessed, they shall live. I could tell the agency was on her sister, on my sister, and she started asking, What is the name of your sister? And now I had in my head, I was saying, I have like four. So I will start with the names. And I know if it is not the name she wants, she will tell you, no, 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 that is not the one. So the, by God's grace, I just mentioned the sister that pastor was looking for. And that was my sister, Anna. Up to the time she was being prayed for, she had not spoken to any of her family members. But this word of knowledge prompted her to check on them after the service. So I called Anna and her phone was going through, but she was not picking. Then I called my brother-in-law. They told me, no, they didn't pick at first. I called my mom. So I asked, have you seen Anna? And she said, Anna was supposed to go to church, but she hasn't gone to church. So that triggered something in me. But then I started feeling this, I don't know how to call it, Pastor, but I started feeling uneasy. But I couldn't say it because I didn't want to make them panic. I kept calling Anna, messages, nothing. She was not even replying. So it got to around 10 and she was not picking her call. Then my brother-in-law was like, Anna said in the morning she was not feeling well. She woke up with a cold. Not a cold, but she had a blockage. Around 10.30, now my brother-in-law was like, let me drive to her place and see if she's okay. So I just said, just go and check on her. So, but the caretaker was like, I've not seen Anna going out since morning. Alianika tu tawaliake hapa inje na ajatoka. So my brother-in-law got to the house. Akapata tu dirisha ya kitchen imefunguliwa. The lights were on. But now she was trying, he was trying to call on Anna, Anna, and Anna was not responding. So he kept calling her almost like 30 minutes. Close to 30 minutes, they were just banging the door and calling her. Even the neighbor had to come out. And Anna, for some reason, <laughs> Anna was just, I think she was in a trance. You said she was, uh, she had taken some medicine and yeah, she, she lost herself. She lost herself. For a whole day? For a whole day. From, I think, to even the time we were declaring here. Oh, from that time? From that time. That's when so she So death just... was really coming to your yeah. sister? Yeah. I think she knew that she was in a kind of a trance and where she was were graves. Graves and water. Graves and water. Yeah, and then she's, that's when now she was like, it was like two voices that were competing. She yeah. could hear my brother-in-law calling her and there was another voice calling her to the to other, the other side, side of the grave. Yeah. So the moment the brother-in-law was calling her, it means it was the moment of her either to go to the death. Exactly. And she was even closer to those graves. 
and that was around 10. Her sister was struggling between death and life and she was already in the region of death. That's how people go. She's being called anywhere she doesn't know. She lost herself True. True. for many, many hours. David says, the cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I was overcome by trouble and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Oh Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the simple-hearted. When I was in great need, he saved me. So what happened? So that's when she woke. Now when she was being called, she just she just woke up. And so she was sweating, sweating everywhere. Yeah, my brother-in-law was telling us like, Anna was like it's some, like someone who had poured, poured water, water on, even her. on her bed. So it's even like on the was, bed. Yeah, it's because she, she was, was really like, struggling was for her struggling. life. Is she okay now? She's very okay. After sweating, yeah, the she, bed is she wet. She was so confused actually, because even when we were talking to her, she was just like, "What is happening?" She thought actually we were bringing. My brother-in-law was bringing bad news to her. Oh, she, she was, was confused. She was, she was, she was not herself. confused. Yeah, she was not herself. So she had to take time. So if you are wondering how faithful our God is, then you have the answer. He is faithful to deliver even from death.